<laughs> All right, welcome back to Real Milwaukee. We sent Tony out to the boat show today. We're just trying. What is it about the boat show? I love, I love the show. boat It's January, too. Yeah. yeah. Love so the boat we're show thinking warm thoughts. Mm -hmm. Tony joining us this morning. Hello. Hi, I have a question. Why are you, why are you guys always, uh, like, laughing out of the commercial break? Because we talk during What's the going commercial. Because we say nasty, dirty <laughs> things that we can't repeat on TV. Ah, <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> I see how that works. Okay, well, we are at the boat show because Milwaukee's uh, on a lake. I really wish they'd bring back a great place on a great lake because it really is. And, you know, we have water here. Why not celebrate it? And everybody can have a boat. Anybody can have a boat. We're learning that now, and we're going to actually learn a lot about the boats here from little to huge. And we might even play with some alligators, too. That's coming up in just a little bit. Henry's with the boat show. Thanks for having us this morning. Oh, it's great to have you out here. Now, let's talk about boats because people, I'm sure, think boats, those are for people who have lots and lots of money. But there are a full range uh, of, the, of boats, right? Uh, boats are affordable, like any other lifestyle that you have, fishing or whatever you want to do. Uh, you have to work your budget, and there's certainly many affordable boats out here. Uh, 80 different brands of boats. This is a much anticipated event every year for the people of Wisconsin. Uh, boats per capita in Wisconsin, second only to Minnesota. I mean, this is a, a lifestyle here. So, I mean, whether it's smaller fishing boats, into the wakeboard and ski boats, the pleasure. Uh, runabouts all the way up to, to these motor yachts that we're, you're about to look at right here. Uh, they're all down here for people to check out and compare aisle to aisle. Uh, and, and the creature comforts have really expanded over the years. Let's talk about that because the boats behind us here, these, uh, these ones right here are really primarily for wakeboarding, which is kind of like we were, I was comparing it to snowboarding, but on the water. Um, but you also have a further back there, the pontoon boat, which is big on our smaller lakes here in the area, right? There's no doubt, and and people that own boats understand how they use them, and so you have to. It's even more complicated picking out your boat than picking out your car. I mean, your car is going to get you from point A to B, but you have to understand how many passengers you're going to have. But the utilization of these things is very, very important. I'll give an example of a pontoon boat. Okay. They're phenomenal luxury items this year for going out and relaxing, but they don't trailer really well. Although they're getting better trailers for trailering them around. Sure. And they don't break waves really well. Although they're getting into some tri-tunes so that you can break waves. They can put 200 horses on these things and you can ski behind pontoon boats now. But if you know that you're going to be out in the big lake or a lake that has some waves, you do want to try to get into more of a deck boat or a pleasure boat that's got a hull that'll break the waves. It's like a, it's a party barge, really. Oh, it still, it still is a party they barge. They most definitely are. That's what and I called it. What's happening now, if people haven't been in new boats in the last 15 or 20 years, people all understand, what's the first thing that goes on your old pontoon boat? The vinyl and all the materials. Oh, I was going to say beer. <laughs> well, I was talking about... But I guess... <laughs> but, I guess uh, <laughs> but as far as... You know, all these things have been upgraded, sound systems, dry storage, the materials in them. So people, this is a good opportunity to come out and go, whoa. It's not the pontoon boat you were used to as a kid. It's not these your are, grandfather's pontoon boat exactly. anymore. Exactly. So there's ton, how many boats do you guys have here at the boat show? Uh, there's about 200 to 300 boats. I've Over the years, I've tried to count, count them. It's and okay. I, I've never done it in 20-some years of doing well, shows. Man, you have a project for you today. Count mm -hmm. all the boats. Um, the I'll cool, never get it done. <laughs> the cool thing about the show, too, is you can see boats that, let's face it, I will never afford. But these are literally the big ticket luxury items. Can we uh, can we jump on one of these yes, things? Yeah, climb on. By now, just means. so you know, there is etiquette to the boat show, right? And that is to remove your shoes. Very true. Remember that. If you're coming to the boat show and you want to step on a boat, you remove your shoes. Bring I, your loafers. Bring your, or bring your loafers, your boating loafers. Um, so this, this is a big motor yacht. 50 footer. 50 foot motor yacht. How much, what's the price tag on something like this? 1.3 million is the price tag on this thing, but I'm sure that they'll work with you. Well, you know what? We made 100 episodes yesterday, so if our boss is watching, uh, <laughs> you can pick one of these up for the, for the show. We can, <laughs> we can go oh, on, on, on the water. Inside here, you're looking at, I mean, these are finishes that you would probably have at home. Right, we're looking at a very expensive type of, of materials. Uh, tell me more about like what you can get on these things well, that you can't get on a smaller boat. Well, this is a, a, a sport bridge, they call it. Uh, two cabins, uh, two heads. Uh, you w just walk by with is the kitchen here, the helm, all the latest in electronics, all the li uh, latest in, uh, in drive systems I love it. Uh, for maneuvering these boats. Uh, the advances, like all the other boats in this show, uh, have have really accelerated over the years. Look at that master bedroom. 
like, wow, you could literally take this for a weekend or a week if you, I mean, if you had the Oh, well, I think there's a lot of people coin. that can live on this, sure. Well, we're, <laughs> God, oh, did you see the bathroom? Come here, Miles, look at the bathroom. I, I, real quickly before we go, you have to see this. Um, this is like, <laughs> this is like what you would do at home, like if you had a really good budget for a bathroom. Look at that. Actually, we call that a head. Once you get on the Oh, that's boat, right. It's a head. I forget. And, and like once you throw a rope, <laughs> you throw a rope on a boat, it becomes a line. <laughs> sure. Well, we'll um, we're we're gonna um, look at something else that's here at the boat show that for for everybody to watch, and that's the Swamp Master, and that's coming up at nine thirty. Plus, maybe we'll take a look at some of the boats that are more my speed. So stick around. We'll have that coming up in just a little bit. One point three million, not your speed. Uh, it would be my speed if I had that money to spare, <laughs> but unfortunately, I don't. You and me so. both. All His right, Facebook yeah. fans talking about how that's better than their house. Oh, a lot it of is. people. Yeah. I know. yeah. Wow. That's funny. Yeah. That's huge. All right. Thanks, Tony. It's like a cruise ship. Mm. I know. Oh, it's pretty it's nice. So cool. yeah, I want one of those sinks, but yeah, I don't think I can put it in the house right now. <laughs> it's I was there. It's a thousand dollars to fill up the tank. <laughs> there you go. Right there. What? That's exactly I what just it is. I did the math. I <laughs> so even if someone gave it to me, I yeah, couldn't afford it. Three hundred <laughs> gallon tank in that baby. Wow. <laughs> oh, All right. My. Have you ever even considered a paper shower? Hmm. We're gonna tell you how it works coming up. <laughs> Philadelphia.